Are you disappointed with that display? Oh, look, yes and no. They're a very good footballing team, um, Olympia. They play good football. And for us to pinch it at the end, it uh, uh, would have gave us a point. But really, you know, they've had enough of the ball to to win the game. But possession doesn't win your game. Goals win your game. They've got a goal. We didn't get one. So good luck to them. Were you pleased with your defensive display? Yeah, look, when uh, Nick, Nick Swearhead went off, um, I thought we might have lost a little bit there. But uh, Joel Sanderson played back there and I thought he was really really good um, we just had to work really hard because they are a very good footballing team they use the ball really really quickly and if you're not onto them they'll just play the ball just like cones really yeah they're very good they never really put you to bed but you struggled to create didn't you look that in 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 their middle third they're very very clever but I just thought that they lost lost a little bit from there that they're good in wide areas with Hoy and 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 those those guys but um, we just we were strong enough in the central area, in in front of goal, to, to, to stifle them. So, and really, the first one was a, that was a penalty. The second one they got was a penalty. So, um, they did miss the uh, second one. So, it's not like they they scored goals from, from open play. They had a lot of um, opportunities to score. But as I said, you don't win games on possession. You win them by scoring goals. How did you see the penalties? I'm well, not very well from where I was, but I'm not going to say anything about the referee. So, next question. Uh, how's your injured player? Nick's gone to hospital. He's, he's concussed. He, he didn't. He was off with the fairies. Um, he came off and uh, and you were one 0 down. And then two minutes later, he didn't know how they scored. So I would say we do not have the medical professionalism for to monitor Nick. So we'll have to send him through the you know our, our doctors and stuff and, and hopefully get the feedback. But I think when you concussed, I mean you know you're probably going to miss a week. Um, and yeah, he wasn't he wasn't very good at all. Why were you sent off then? Because I, I got emotionally disturbed and my mouth was a little bit bigger. My brain was writing checks, my mouth couldn't cash, put it that way. <laughs> but, but there were no hard feelings because you shook hands with Oh, the certainly. No, I, I, look, they, they've got a tough job. Are you permitted to do that? What? Go and shake hands with them after the game if you've been sent off. I don't know. They didn't stop me. <laughs> they didn't stop. And, and look, um, look I, I needed to apologise because it was the wrong thing. And I realise that, but Jesus, you know, if I lived my life in hindsight, I'd have money, probably married three times, <laughs> you know, all sorts of stuff in hindsight, Walter. So uh, I just wanted to go over and, and, and just let them know that um, I was wrong. So what does that mean? Does that mean you can't take your place on the bench next week? I think what? so. Yeah. I, I, I think so. So next week I'll be down five, six hundred dollars because that's, that's the sort of money I'm on. <laughs> and um, so I'll, I'll miss that next week. And I think Nick LA, I, mean, I, I think once it gets around that Nick LA did a really good job on the bench, I'll be lucky to get back on anyway. So, no. Do you feel frustrated? Because I mean, they, in a way, they're the top team, but they were there for the taking, weren't they? But they were, and uh, that's why we fourth. Because we've had, we've had, uh, we had these guys were up up one nil last time. It was one all. We had zebras up one nil. One nil was one all. We had. Devonport up 2-1, it was 2 all. We, we just haven't got, haven't developed that, that nasty little streak in us yet. That, and I've said to the guys, you've got to hate losing more than you love winning. And once we can get that, that, that mentality, then we'll start winning, the, winning these close, uh, uh, close games. But in saying that, Olympia are a very good team. So, they weren't yeah. today, were they? Oh, look, I thought they were. I thought they were. I mean, I see them three three times a year, um, unless you're watching the you know the, the stuff on your tablet or, or computer or whatever, which you only really see what what the camera's doing. So, yeah, I, I like them. Their coach sort of said it's their worst game in a month. Oh, look, he's he's in a much better position to to, mm -hmm. to judge that than me. As I said, oh, this is the third time I've seen him live this year. So, um, if if Glenn feels that, then um, you know he's a much better judge than I am. It was a good test for Towns and Tannhauser up against probably the best midfield in the league. Yeah, look, looking again, um, you know, you put, you know, you put five, six years on on those two kids and making the same age as the, the guys they're playing against, uh, and they're they're going to be good. But they look, they are they're all right across the park. Park they're a good test. Every line will test you. They're two centre backs, good blokes. You know, they're, they're, they're midfield three. Coley players. They're wide. They're seven eleven. They're good players. They'll test you everywhere, and that's why they're top because they're a good side. Oh, gee.